Hello everybody, a short video on um, algebraic division with multiplication. There's an example of a question of that type on the board. 3y squared times 4yz over 2y. Um, if you've taught by me, you'll remember we keep talking about how um, division problems can are synonymous with fractions and vice versa. So this problem really reads 3y squared times 4yz divided by 2y. How to address this question? Well, here it is on the, on the next page, and let's look at it quickly. The short answer is um, that we'll do any multiplying on the top or the bottom first, and then we will divide the um, what, what remains, or if you like, we'll look to simplify the fraction if you want to think of it in those terms. So look at the top line, 3y squared times 4yz, what's 3 times 4? Yep, y squared times y. And the z is going to be multiplied by the rest of it. Good. So we get that. We've still got the 2y at the bottom. Here we have a fraction that we might look to simplify. Can we simplify 12 and 2? Yep. Divide them both by 2 gives us that. y cubed and y, both divisible by. Well done, y. y divided by y is 1. y cubed divided by y is y squared. Well done which leaves us on the top with 6 times y squared times z, 6y squared z, and on the bottom by 1 times y, which is 1, not 2, not 11. Final answer, 6y squared z. Okay, next one. 4y squared z times 5x squared y over 20x times 3y. Let's do the multiplying first on the top and separately on the bottom and see what we get. On the top, 4 fives. Uh, x squared and y squared times y is well done. On the bottom, 20 times 3, x times y. We get that. Can we simplify this fraction? Yeah, we can. 20 and 60 can both be divided by 20. We get 1 and 3. x squared and x can both be divided by x. We get, let's cross that out, x, and that one cancels out. 1. Y cubed and Y can be divided by Y. We get Y squared on top and Y divided by Y is 1. So we are left with, on the top, 1 times X times Y squared, which is 1XY squared. Don't need the 1. And on the bottom, we have 3 times 1 times 1, which is 3. And we get an answer of XY squared over 3. And that's as far as we can go without any further information. Let's do one more um, with a little bit more in it, I suppose. Um, 15x cubed y to the 5 on top is going to remain 15x cubed y to the 5 on top, isn't it? And now so we'll rewrite that, and then we'll multiply out the bottom. 6 fives are 30. Uh, let's just remind ourselves how we multiply indices. x squared times x squared. And when we're multiplying indices or anything with the same base number with indices, um, we can simply keep the base number the same, in this case x, and add the indices together. 2 plus 2 is 4, and y squared times y to the 6 is similar. We've got 2y, so the base number is the same, and we can add the indices. 2 plus 6 is 8. If you're not sure how to do that, you need to look elsewhere for um, videos on multiplying with indices. Okay, we've got an answer there of that. Uh, can, we, can we simplify or can we cancel at all? Yep, we can divide 15 and 30 by 15. We get 1 and 2. x cubed and x to the 4 can be divided by... x cubed is right. So x cubed cancels out, we get a 1, and x to the 4 divided by x cubed is x to the 1. And y to the 5 divided by y to the 8 can be divided by y to the 5, which cancels that out, and we are left here with y cubed on bottom. So on the top we've got 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, over 2 times x times y squared, which is 2xy cubed. I said squared, I meant cubed. Um, that's a simple introduction to um, multiplying algebraic fractions. Hope that makes sense. And for those of you that I'm teaching, I will look forward to seeing you anon.